Hey guys, it's Dave and Derek coming at you from VSI. And one thing that we wanted to emphasize with this video is um, the, some of the work that we do a, apart from other companies, and that's, our, that's the custom work. And what we have here is a Kawasaki mule from a, a municipality in our area that um, they had some specific requirements that didn't quite meet you know, what our standard production line of hydro seeders and de-icing equipment uh, looks like. So they brought it in to us and we designed a pretty cool system for them that um, hopefully you know, meets and exceeds their needs for, for what they're looking to do. So I'm gonna let Derek kind of run you through what all this unit does and um, kind of explain the features that we installed on it here. Yep, so this unit right here is meant to spray herbicide. It's for the local parks department. They wanted something that would fit inside this gator, be light enough to travel around. I believe they're pulling the nurse trailer with them mm -hmm. for extra product. When the customer came to us, he had some specific requirements that he wanted on the build. He wanted a spray gun with 25 feet of hose, which we included on the side. He wanted the ability to spray out each side of the mule, mule and a boom in the middle. And another requirement was he wanted to have a cannon on the front of the mule that you can control from the driver's seat to spot spray by ponds or ditches, anything like that. So what's really cool about this one is everything fit in the bed. Uh, it's really short. The nozzles only stick out about two inches on each side. And the boom on the bottom is hidden. We'll show you that later. But that has two fan tips on the bottom that cover really even along here. We ran out on the road, did some testing with it. It covers the full length of the road, shoulder to shoulder. You can also use this unit as a hydro seeder. So when you're done spraying your herbicide and you need to do some patchwork or anything like that on a playground, all you gotta do is close this valve and then it functions as a regular hydro seeder would. Uh, we'll show you, you can water trees with it, you can do pretty much anything with water and a pump. And uh, you know, one of the big things that we really believe in is efficiency. Um, you know, we want to keep this piece of equipment moving for any customer, whether it's with this unit in there or taking it out and using it for a different purpose. So you're going to look, everything that we build or, you know, for custom work is always very easily removable from the unit, but very stable when it's mounted. Um, so, you know, we integrated some nice mounts for the, the bed itself that just tighten down with some bolts. Um, all the connection points are cam lock or their flange removed. So. Basically, this unit you know, can be stripped down in a matter of 10, 15 minutes, ready to go. Um, there are some important pieces that stay with the, you know, the, the mule itself. They don't hinder the performance when they're, they're out in the field using it for something else. So why don't we uh, fire it up here and we'll, uh, we'll show you yeah. some of the, the features. Uh, a couple more things I wanted to point out where there's a, there's a bypass integrated into the system so you can leave the motor running if you need to drive. 10 minutes to another site and spray somewhere else, you can leave your motor running or turn it off if you'd like to. And then we included a filter on there as well. So if you are using it for hydro seeding and then you switch to spraying herbicide again, that filter will stop all the hydro seed that maybe didn't come out when you were cleaning it out. That'll stop that from getting your tips and plugging those up. But yeah, let's do it. Like I said earlier, this also operates like our regular 110 JH models and functions as a hydro seeder or a tree water or pressure washer, basically whatever you need it to be if it pumps water. So I'll show you how it hook up, hooks up just like our regular model. All the hoses are cam locked, you just hook it right on. Um, your agitation valve is in the same location and then you have your valve for the hand cannon right here. So I'll fire it up quick and show you. So working in the parks department, you might need to water in new trees that you planted, or if you're patching up spots where the kids might have ripped up the grass or anything like that. You can either mix a load of hydro seed or just have it be water in there. It'll run out to the end of your gun, and you're able to spray whatever you need to spray. So the last piece that we want to highlight is the actual herbicide application part of this unit. Um, one really cool thing that we did for, uh, for these guys is we set up the, the boom controls wirelessly. So we're not running the rate control that you see you know, on our de-icing equipment. But one thing we were kind of running into is there's a, it was a little bit tricky to mount the switches in the cab and, and make them protected from people getting in and out without getting damaged. So um, we actually have a fob that runs you know, left, middle, or right on this unit. And it's pretty cool because we can be anywhere in the shop or outside the, the, the unit itself and be able to still run these, these valve sections, um, you know, with great response time, just like a regular switch. 
And then we're obviously going to highlight that turret for you guys too here. So why don't we get her fired up there? Yep. It has the A, B, and C that operate all the boom sections. So all of them are controlled independently from the push of a button. So one of the hard parts about this build is that um, this unit obviously has a cab installed on it. And we wanted to be able to make the gun so it could stay on the, the unit itself um, during operation, but still be out of the way for them. So we designed it to tuck away really nice in the cab here. Um, doesn't hinder getting in and out of the vehicle. Obviously has some isolation valves on it for when it's not installed. The gun itself is cam locked on, so if they don't want it on, they can take it off. Um, but it's really easy to get out for them, stows right away and um, really good performance, easy to drive and spray, and obviously you have your control of your flow rate right there at the gun too. So we'll, uh, we'll get the engine running again and show you the, the performance of this. Another feature that I wanted to point out on here was that it does have the ability to self-fill as well. So if you're pulling out of a nurse trailer or anything like that, you don't need an extra pump with you, you can just fill from the pump on the unit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, one thing, like I said, we take a lot of pride in is our custom work. Uh, we really have a lot of fun building units. It's kind of a, a good challenge for us to see what we can do. And The nice thing is, I mean, honestly, anything with a tank or a pump, uh, we really can pretty much build it for you. Units like this, um, you know, they range from herbicide applications to fire suppression, basically all at the same concept. We just change up flow rates and tip sizes to meet your demand. Um, you know, especially in the fire suppression for things like the turret, um, make the units really mobile and, and very, very efficient. So feel free to reach out with any of, uh, you know, the, the needs that you guys have with custom work. We'd be more than happy to, to get you some numbers and, and design something for you. Yeah. Thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate you guys uh, taking time to watch all of our videos and get informed about all the things we have going on over here at VSI. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, like our videos. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you have any future videos, just email us at info at vsinnovation.com or call us at 507-252-3033. Uh, you can talk to me or Dave. We'll be happy to help you. So we'll see you guys next time.